for quite a while now I've been encouraging everyone to pray, to pray for our nation and you know, to pray for our, our president-elect because there's a lot of things going on in this country that's, that's not good and we need to cry out to God to have mercy upon us. See, people need to be saved. If ultimately people don't change, if their hearts don't change and turn to God, then the nation really has no hope ultimately. Let's pray to God. Let's pray to Him right now. Dear Lord, we come to you in the name of Jesus, seeking your mercy, Lord God, knowing that we need you, knowing that without you we can do nothing, that individually or as a nation we can do nothing without you, Lord God, and we know we've sinned. Lord God, I know I confess for our nation, I know it's sin. I know the abortion of millions of babies is sin, Lord God, and this, this glorifying this homosexual marriage is sin. God is sin. And I ask for mercy, Lord God, upon us. Each one of us will believe your word and turn from the wickedness which the word describes to us, Lord God, and turn to you. Without you, Lord God, we have no hope. Be with our president, Lord God. Have mercy upon him. I pray protect this nation, Lord God, and those who are, who are doing harm right now in these riots. I pray, Lord God, that you, that you restrain them and send them to their home. And I ask for mercy always, Lord God, and I ask you to save, Lord God. Give people eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to understand that they would believe your word and they would turn to you and would be saved. And I ask this, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen.